Hey everybody, I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Manager for Enterprise DNA. And we're here in the final week of the Enterprise DNA end of year content countdown. So we've got we've got a really good one for you this week. Um, I have with me Melissa DeCorte, who is our resident Power Query expert. And um, she is going to talk with me today about a course that's been a long time in the making, one we're really excited about, that's a follow-up to a course she did earlier this year. So the, the earlier course was, it was a Power Query M master course. It was one that went through kind of the theory of M taking tables and lists and functions and um, all the different building blocks of M and working through those sequentially, looking at selection and projection, looking at kind of building your M code from, from beginning to end. And it got great reviews. We had a lot of people really enthusiastic about it. I learned a ton from it. I've watched it actually three or four times now. Um, but the feedback we got was, it's great, but could we do some really practical examples? And so that's what we're here today with five plus hours of practical examples in this course. And um, I want to welcome Melissa. So welcome, Melissa. Great to have you here today. Thank you so much for having me, Brian. And um, yeah, so I want to talk about I want to talk about this course because it follows a really unique format. Uh, something that is something you came up with that we tried. Um, it I think it went over really well. So, could you just talk kind of about the the format you selected for this course and why you you chose that? Yeah, sure. So the format is not just me pushing a bunch of buttons and hoping for the best. The format is that I have at least two guests each, each round, each session, and they get to ask me anything they want about the thing that I'm presenting or the subject that we're covering in that session. And which is really, which is really great. It, it increases the interactivity. And I think it also adds massive value to our viewer in the end. So they're not just random people, they're other enterprise DNA experts. So yeah, we have lots of fun doing those. Yeah, and I've, I've, I've sat in on, on two of them, I believe, and it's, it's been great, I love doing it. Um, and I think what we, as the expert serve, is really kind of the voice of the viewer, you know, watching you and in certain things that you're super comfortable with and have done a million times. And we look at it and go, wait, I, why are you doing it that way? Or you know, can you can you stop and explain that a little bit, a little bit more? And I think, you know, in in watching these after we've done them, I really think we are we are not sitting in an expert role. We are really sitting in a in kind of a practical user role, and as I say, kind of the stand-in for the people taking the course. And so, you know, some of the questions we ask probably seem, you know, pretty basic, but at the time it was like it really was really helpful in clarifying exactly what you were doing and understanding your thought process. Yeah, it's that. It's that added value that's, that's really important, I think, in this course. Because I'm just, so, like you said, I'm, I'm doing things the way that I feel comfortable and, and I'm comfortable with. So sometimes I move way too fast or sometimes I'm doing things that you just uh, you're you might not be fully fully aware of, of or fully know what I'm doing, and that's that's the thing, right? Then we then I have an audience that can say, "Go back and exp and explain that to me." So that's that's really valuable. Yeah, yeah, and, really and, and for us as well, you know, I've, I've learned a lot sitting in in those and watching the ones you've done. Um, how did you go about selecting the topics for the course? Yeah, I wanted to cover several difficulty levels. So I didn't want to do all the, the most difficult. I wanted to, to make some sort of progression through the course, but I also wanted to make it really, really practical. So a lot of stuff uh, came from the forum or was inspired by something from the forum. Um, there were also a couple of challenges that we cover in this uh, in these sessions and just because that's a great way to practice and I can only recommend 
I can't recommend that highly enough, right? If you're passionate about learning something, you can only learn stuff by doing it. So you have to get stuck in and you have to give it a try. So yeah, the, those are good resources to, uh, to kind of see what's possible. And when you, you, you bring up a really good point in terms of, you know, giving it a try and, you know, not being, not being a passive learner. And so the question I have is, as people are watching this course, what's the best way for them to interact with it? I know you provide PBIX files and, re, you know, the data resources. How would you, how would you suggest somebody go through this course? Yeah, each chapter fully stands on its own. So where you begin is basically up to you. If, if there's a topic there that you really fancy, go right ahead. If you want to put all of those sessions in shuffle mode, that's fine by me too, obviously. So just, um, I think we've, we've tried to kind of gradually get them from um, more easy to more advanced. Although that, yeah, it's, it's hard to, to kind of say that um, because yeah, it, it's hard for me to judge what someone's level is. Right. I can't, I don't know who my audience is in that regard. So, but we did try to, to, to facilitate in that and just work along. And if there are concepts there that you're having a hard time with or you don't fully grasp, just go back to the Power Query M course that's already in the portal. That's more on the, that highlights more of that theoretical side um, to, to kind of uh, get you to take that next step. Great, great. And you mentioned kind of not knowing who the audience might be for this. And, and that's, that's something I, I definitely wanted to talk a little bit about in terms of what, what would you say are the prerequisites for this course? Like what level of knowledge and what, what previous courses or previous experiences do you think people need to have in order to get the most out of this? Well, ideally... From my perspective, I hope that they did all the Power Query courses that Enterprise DNA has on offer, uh, although it's not required. It, it isn't required, but it's highly suggested because things that I'm doing will make far more sense. I honestly believe that. So I'm, I'm very grateful that the, the first course on Power Query is already available to, to everyone. So... Um, yeah, if you, if you got that under your belt, if you work through that, maybe you didn't understand everything, that's, that's totally fine. Um, if you now step onto, uh, onto this train and, and work through these examples along with me, then I'm sure some of the things will, make, will start to make more sense, especially if you review some of the chapters in that other course as well. So really the progression of your thing is kind of the transformation and data modeling course that Sam did is kind of the basic overview. Then your course, the, the Power Query and Masterclass one, and then this one being kind of the ideal progression. Yeah, from my perspective, that would be ideal, yeah. Great, great. And what about, um, what about if somebody had a, um, a problem that they think would be a good one for the future? What yeah. should they do? What should they do with that? Well, there's, especially if you remember, right, there's a category on the Enterprise DNA forum, Enterprise DNA Online. That's the category name. If you post it there and at mention me, supply all the data that you have. So supply your scenario, supply the expected outcome. And if it's, it's deemed suitable, then yeah, there's a very likely chance that your scenario will be covered in a future a course like this as well yeah great so you already got sequels in mind yeah this is for me this is a never-ending concept this great. is great fun to do i think it uh, it adds it adds value to our viewers so the more concepts we get to cover the better we, the better we are for it right yeah i mean that's that's exactly what i was hoping here is to say i really i really enjoy these i know a lot of other folks do that we we released one it was, it was actually by accident um, earlier this year that we'd recorded for this, um, for this course. And then 
um, it ended up in the YouTube stack. And it, it turned out to be a good thing because we got a lot of comments back on that. And it was affirmation that people really like the format. So I think, I think they're really going to enjoy this. Um, yeah. And like, like always, I mean, if you, if you pose a scenario, there could be like 10 or there could be a multitude of solutions. Right. So I'm not saying that the solution that I'm always that the solution that I'm providing is the best course of action, but it's it's a it's a way to solve a problem, and I think it's more about how I dissect a problem and what strategies that I apply. That I'm hoping that people can transfer to their own work. And that's that's what I've really found valuable, and it is not so much, you know, click here you know, unpivot here, you know, um, you know, replace value here. It's more just hearing your narrative as you're walking through this problem saying, okay, here's what I'm thinking as I'm going through this, you know, here, here, here are things that I know we're going to have to deal with later in the, in the solution. And I think it's been really interesting in looking back at some of the ones you've drawn from the forum where, you gave a great solution on the forum. And then when you tackled it in the course, you actually refined that solution quite, quite differently. And I think that that's a perfect example of how there are a lot of different ways to get to that, that same end solution. And that even, even sometimes considering over time or having the interactions with other people kind of bringing new, new ideas into the mix, you know, changes the, the approach you take. Yeah, and especially because I'm I'm learning every day still, so I'm I'm picking up new stuff. But I'm also trying to actively look for more solutions to a specific problem. So that's something that I'm always looking for as well, right? There there are a multitude of ways to solve a problem. And I'm always trying to find different ways to attack it and then try to find what's either then, then it becomes a choice, right? What choice do you pick? Do you, ch do you ch pick the one that's that's um, that has the most performance gain, or do you pick the one that uh, will allow you to, in future, make it more easy to maintain a specific query? Right. So you can have different in choice on on how you how you attack that, and. Of course, if performance is not an issue, why bother? So, you know, then pick something that's familiar to you or that, that's easy to maintain in future. So they're all thoughts that, uh, that someone from, that, you know, the user from his or her perspective has to take in, into account. Yeah, and what's, what's cool is I think some of that comes out in the, in the, the real-time discussion with the... Uh, the expert audience in some of these. So um, I think it's great. I, as I say, I think people are really going to enjoy it. It's, it's over five hours of, of content and problems in this one. Um, I'm wondering, is there any, any kind of last points you want to add or anything else you want to, you want to say on this? I just, I just hope that our viewers uh, enjoy this course and the scenarios that we've presented. And uh, if, uh, if they do just, you know, provide the feedback so we know we're on the right track and, if we are, we'll, we'll surely continue on this road. Great. Well, thanks, Melissa. I really appreciate your, um, your hard work in putting this together and all the work that you do on the, um, on the forum and in um, you know, getting all of us really more educated and more expert in, in Power Query and NM. So thanks very much and Happy New Year. Thank you so much for having me and best wishes to everyone. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.